than an hour, just feet from Monday's tragedy, people will gather for a vigil. It's to honor these five victims who deputies say were shot to death at work by an ex-employee. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us now live close to Fiamma Incorporated, where this all started. So, Vanessa, does the vigil organizer know the victims? He doesn't, Lisa, but his church is just around the corner from where that shooting took place. He tells me Monday night he got on the phone with his fellow pastors and started asking, what can we do to help? A common theme we're seeing this week after five families were changed forever. You didn't have to know the victims of the Fiamma shooting to have been impacted. We're just watching the news, recognizing that this is someone's parents, someone's spouse, uh, mentor, just, you know, manager of a job. So many individuals are affected on so many levels. And Daniel Ings is the senior pastor at Glory Center Church. Monday night, he knew he had to do something to build the community's strength. Individuals we don't even know, you know, person, on a personal level, but because we recognize that it could have been our mom, our dad, our, our child, our sister, our brother, and so we just feel a direct connect to to make this happen. Area churches were contacted, and these flyers were handed out to businesses nearby. So I think the impact is coming from a place of where we're showing love to individuals that we don't know in a personal way, but recognizing that, listen, uh, when you hurt, we hurt. Todd Bluewater knew three of the victims. He rented space from Tom. Uh, I thought it was a very nice gesture upon this uh, pastor who's doing his thing tonight. I've never met him before, uh, but he's very sincere in what he was doing, uh, and I think he's going to say a lot of powerful words to help the community. And that vigil will take way in just the next, just under an hour at 7 o'clock here. Local uh, pastors are slated to come here, as well as some of the area business owners who knew those victims. Lisa. All right, Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. And if you would like to learn more about the victims and how you can help their families, we have posted links inside the story on the homepage of our website, clickorlando.com.